What is the difference between a tuxedo and a suit? That, gentlemen, 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 is the question we will be answering today. D Ega situation. 你什么时候要穿 tuxedo？ 什么时候要穿西装 ？Giovanni. When you go to work, you need to wear a suit. For leisure, you need to wear a tuxedo. Okay, so Biushona, what type of event? Every time is written in the in the invitation, black tie event. Ah, black tie event. So, go and black tie. Chinese, we say, should be black tie, right? So, it, you mean just a black tie? No,、right? no. A black tie event means you have to wear a tuxedo、ah. and not a suit. Right, Gumman. So when you are invited to a black tie event, 意思就是你一定要穿 a tuxedo. A tuxedo. Black tie equals tuxedo, 对不对 Exactly. So what really makes a tuxedo? Well, 这个视频会教你的 So Giovanni, 该穿你的 tuxedo 了 Good, looking much better. Looking、Thank、good. <laughs> so the other 就是 lapel, Giovanni. A tuxedo is a, a normal suit, but what it does have is the shiny lapel. It's a shiny silk lapel for a tuxedo must have. The sanga buttons, buttons, Giovanni. Yes, you need to have not normal buttons, but you have the buttons covering silk. In the same silk you use for the lapel. Ah, so the jugga silk, the jugga silk. 一模一样的，对不对？对。Oh, the sugar, the pockets, the pockets must use the same silk you use for the buttons and for the lapel. All together. The sugar. You need to have special trousers. Special trousers means they need to have the satin stripe with the same silk you use for the jacket. And very important with the tuxedo, you don't wear a belt, so you need to have the trousers without belt loops. The liuga, the color of the tux. 那么 Giovanni， 因为是 black tie event， 意思就是你必须穿黑色的 tuxedo， 对不对 ？No, absolutely not. Black tie it means you need to wear a tuxedo, but it doesn't mean. It's a black tuxedo, so、ah. it can be a navy tuxedo, it can be a red tuxedo, or it can be or a white tuxedo. The chica lapel style. You can use a substantially two type of lapel, so the pointed one, like Eli is wearing, or the show lapel. Both of them are very, very nice. Another very important point in the tuxedo need to have one and only one button. Again, covered with the same silk as the other elements. Very, very important. <laughs> Debugger the pocket square. Number the pocket square with a tuxedo is normally just like this. Clean, crisp, white, rectangular shaped. This is the kind of pocket square you would wear with a tuxedo. James Bond wears this one, and so do I.、Uh, Giovanni's pocket squares are a bit more funky, a bit more crazy. In my opinion, not very suited to tuxedos. More suited to suits. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a moment. Let, let me show you something because,、uh, okay, so this one is、uh, the last pocket square we release. Okay, it's all okay. like funky、okay. and.、Uh, And crazy. Is that a lame? Yes, is a is a lady made by Italy、uh, lame. Italy.、Ah, okay. Very nice. So let me see the way I fold it.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, we fold it like this. We fold it back again, and then in half, in this way.、Mm -hmm. Then we、okay. remove this one. And in two seconds, what we have done, we've reproduced the same effect of the white pocket square, but with a little bit more flair. You put a little bit, you know, an, a masterpiece, a little bit of art 
in your pocket. You see? Interesting. Oh, it's very nice. Very interesting. Exactly. Uh, in my opinion, I think the, the my original pocket square is still more suited to the tuxedo. Uh, but this sort of pocket square is more suited to a suit, I think, I believe. I don't think so. Dan Shordao Giovanni de Shinda Pocket Square Sam and Kankan has Shinda Designs back. There we go, let me show you um, a couple more of designs because I'm very excited. Uh, we reproduce uh, this Italian artist called uh, Sara Bertino with this uh, beautiful design, very rich of color. What's this? This one is a, a Spanish dancer. Ah. Yeah, and the, the amazing thing is, depending on what you're wearing, you can actually fold it. For example, if you are wearing a red tie, you can fold it in a way, you can put a little bit more red out to match what, what you are actually wearing. Ah, exactly. very good. This is what uh, uh, we have done for the last three, four years. So they're all original paintings. And if you're in a party, Giovanni, if you have a party, you can do it. Exactly, you know, you, you are there, you are talking with a, with a girl and the, mm. the girl notices like, oh, you have a very nice pocket square. Mm. Imagine in the moment you, you pop it out and you, you share and you make her see your, your pocket square that is actually a piece of art. You are carrying a piece of art in your pocket. It definitely makes you look like a very interesting gentleman, very sophisticated. So Giovanni, where are these pocket squares? How do I buy one? So at the moment in China we are just selling through Tabao. So if you go in Tabao and uh, you put GLB London, then that's uh, the, the only place unfortunately we're selling. But for each one we just produce 100. So you need to be a little bit lucky still to, to get some very little production. And if they give the Kufu sure what it means, how gay li taman kubukai de dao yo wei chuan. Sure, like, yeah. like, like last time, a little bit of discount for uh, Gailey's Very small. friends. <laughs> cool. Awesome. See you there. Dijoga the shirt. Giovanni. You cannot wear a normal shirt, so the shirt needs to have these three elements. The first one is uh, the studs. Black studs. Those are not normal buttons like mine, but you need to have studs. The second element, very important, is uh, the cufflinks. So again, you don't have buttons like a normal shirt, but you're gonna have to wear cufflinks. And the third element Ooh. that distinguish a tuxedo, um, a tuxedo shirt is this front bib. It's not a normal shirt, but it's a, it's a front bib. So it's a, another layer of fabric put on top that have these. Uh, a uh, very formal effect. 对,没错,然后前山里面的六块腹肌,呃,七十根塔西都没有关系的啊,这就是我的腹肌啊,所以这个如果你没有的话,没关系哥们。第十个,bow This is the last element and probably the most visible element. If you are wearing a tuxedo or in the invitation there is black tie, you need to wear a bow tie. It can be different in color, in size, in pattern, but it's very important you're wearing a bow tie. By etiquette, you should wear a bow tie. Traditionally, it's always a bow tie. It is. Government. Number 11. Shoes. Shiny shoes. <laughs> Giovanni. Yes. This is the, the last element to close your outfit. By tradition and by etiquette, again, you should wear shiny shoes. Those are not polished shoes, but they are shoes that exclusively you wear with a tuxedo. And they are called painted shoes. Shiny shoes. And bonus tip, Shaga. The watch. It's very important that when you are wearing a nice tuxedo, you wear a very classic watch. So something like a Gailey is, is wearing, traditional, classic, timeless watch is much, much better than a sport watch or an Apple watch or, or you don't wear a watch or if you wear it, you wear something like this 
that is extremely classic. Classical, minimalistic, but also German. You can see it. If you wear a tuxedo, you can see it. Because it's not wearing a watch. So it normally you won't actually see the watch. Mm -hmm. So it's not actually in that important. Mm -hmm. But if you are wearing a watch, remember to wear a sexy, classical Caliburn Yasser Jembial. And now you know the difference between a suit and a tuxedo. Remember to Dian Zan and see you next time. Guanju, Chi Guanju, and we'll see you next time. Yasser Jen.